Hello, welcome aboard. Thank you for joining us for part two of the Extreme Solutions Graphene Ceramic Coating one week after installation. Today, we're gonna to be doing a quick maintenance cleaning. Spring has sprung, and with that, pollen is everywhere. A necessary evil, but that doesn't help our cars look and feel any better. Pollen, believe it or not, is acidic, and when it comes in contact with water, the water can activate the acidic qualities of the pollen. This may set on your vehicle and give you the impression the coating is dead. So let's give it a quick wash. I'm going to be mixing Jersey Devil with some water in my foam gun. This works either with a garden hose or with a pressure washer. First, we'll spray the surface with some water. Hopefully this will remove all large contaminants. You can see after a week, our graphene ceramic coating is alive and well. Next, we're going to spray our Jersey Devil water mix onto the surface. If you're unsure about Jersey Devil, please go back and check out a feature video on the product. Essentially, it's a waterless wash, in this case, a water wash, that is full of nice surfactants and SiO2 to help boost our coating. We will then rinse away our mix with some water. Our goal here is to not agitate the surface with a wash mitt or any material like that as much as possible. So we're gonna to try to keep this as touchless as possible. You may be wondering where's all the sexy foam? I can assure you there's plenty of product being applied to the surface. We can see the product here when the video is slowed down. We're letting the Jersey Devil do the work for us without scrubbing. We're letting those surfactant cleaners and SiO2 brush against the surface, removing all of the contaminants. Now I prefer drying the surface with a synthetic drying chamois. We need to make sure we wipe away all mineral deposits so they don't leave any staining behind when we're finished. Take care of the coating, and in turn, that coating will take care of your vehicle. Now it's time for a booster. We're going to be using PolySeal Hybrid Polymer Spray Sealant mixed with some topper. This is far from proper etiquette on how to apply these products. If you're unsure about them, as always, go back and check out their feature videos. But in this case, it works perfectly fine. So you're asking, why do I need a booster? Is this guy just trying to sell me horrible marketing? Does this coating really work? Here's some reasons why you wanna boost the coating on your car. One, it's easy. Two, it takes less than five minutes to apply a booster to your car's entire surface. And three, it makes it much slicker, shinier, and more impressive to look at. If you don't wanna apply any boosters to your coating, that's fine, and that's up to you you'll still get a nice long life out of your coating. But with a booster, it'll last much longer and look a lot better. You don't go to the gym once a year. It takes maintenance to create something amazing. This is a quick and easy way to maintain your vehicle's coating. 